Hi. Hey, so I just had my English lesson with my English teacher Joe. And um, yeah, it's like saying like um, what I was saying before about how I think you're an actual like decent teacher and I feel like students need like teachers like you to like talk to and like if they need any support whether it's like with their work or their mental health I feel mm -hmm. like you're a really great one so yeah it's like as I feel like you made it on this like biggest moment of your life I feel like you've done everything yeah yeah biggest moment of my life um yeah no I think it I do I like to think that all teachers are like me I don't like to think that I'm an exception I think that it is great if we can help you in any way really whether that be because you've had a bit of a rough morning or um, we can help bring you back into the room make you forget maybe for a few seconds or whether you need to vent we can kind of help you work through it maybe a little bit but yeah yeah brilliant right that's about it oh, my hat is a mess all right see you later see you later hi everyone <laughs> Just had my maths lesson with Morella, and yeah, I just wanted to say quickly, um, like, thank you for the donation money you gave before. And like, I think it was about a month ago, uh, we was like talking about it all, yeah, about like what I do and like how it all helps me, and it just felt like really like refreshing and like just I don't know, it's just, like really nice to actually like speak to someone. Could, because I've not like spoke to like a member of staff about it in a long time, so it's just really great that you could understand and it's yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, and well done for everything that you're doing. I think it's so important to just set up an example to all your colleagues and just talking about what you go through, and that will make them feel at ease and maybe comfortable to talk about their issues as well. So keep up the good work, and if you need anything else, just let me know. Brilliant. Alright, see you later. See you later. <laughs> so, since the age of 15 years old was when I first started self-harming. It was going back to my school days where I just felt constantly low and alone. But one day in year 11, I snapped and something just triggered in my mind. And I self-harmed my arm really bad, like leaving a massive scar here. And that same day, I got to the walking centre and my mum my came in and she just cried and she went, why? And I couldn't tell her. I couldn't tell her why I'd done it. I don't know what possessed, like, the idea of, like, how that could help. And two weeks after that was... When I had my bandage over my arm and you had three lads on the other table so they saw my bandage and the first thing they thought was I was showing off for attention so they would shout self harming, attention seeking their yeah, school life was just really hard and just wasn't for me but when I got to college everything picked up I was passing my exams but Further on down that line of my first year, my granddad had passed away with dementia and I've never lost someone who meant so much to me. So it went, it resorted back to me self-harming again. And I said to myself, like, I can't keep doing this. It's not what you would want. It's not going to make him happy so I had to come up with something that I know would make him proud and inspire him and help me so the one thing that was helping me with my self arm was taking selfies so anytime I felt low I would take selfies of people and it would represent the memory of like how taking that selfie would make me feel so happy and so positive that it took any thought of self harm away so the idea was to take 80 selfies up to his 80th birthday and raise money at the same time, which raised a total of £200 for Dementia UK. And it all went really well. So I've done it for college, 
to raise money for mental health this time and they raised another 200 pounds so that really went well and yes yeah, so college life i started to figure out like what was helping myself farm so that would be taking the selfies so i used the selfie project for college and it would go all the way towards the fundraisers for solar mind and i'll be doing a lot more videos about mental health and like about what my story's like of how to raise awareness by using my st using my story to help and inspire other people and yeah so it's going really well for me and i do have the occasional like down moments weekly but overall like it's going really well so I'm proud to say like in about two months time is when I'm self harm clean for a year so I'm really proud of that and I just wanted to thank you all for watching because this is what I love doing more than anything I'm so proud that I found myself my dream job of raising awareness for mental health and showing my story to help and inspire other people so everything's going really well so thank you